All right, everyone, can you get a slim waist over the age of 40? That's the big question for today. And of course, the answer is obviously you can with the right systems and habits in place. And you know, this has been proven many times, not just because of science or by science, but with empirical evidence as well. Just let me show you up on the forefront, my client Devin, hopefully it's visible. We can call it a slim waist transformation, but what really matters is you don't have to be a muscular animal in order to be able to get into a good shape. You just want to slim down, tone down, as you say, the same mechanisms and the same systems apply to you as well, right? So you wanna make sure that you have wide back, wide shoulders and slim, tiny waist, flat stomach and potentially six pack abs to accompany this. But how do you actually get there? How do you um, make sure that even someone who's older than 40 or 50, you can still have it, you can still lose enough fat and you can still recomposition your body in a way that, all right, you are satisfied with your waist size, you are losing belt sizes, maybe you have to buy a new belt, right? Tighter jeans, tighter trousers and better fitting shirts, right? That would be your dream scenario where you can be confident about yourself when you can demand more respect and showcase more discipline towards your peers. That all sounds amazing, but how do you actually get there, right? So that's a very good question. Very simple, we're gonna talk about four things. Stress levels, so we can call this cortisol. We can talk a little bit about gut health. We will talk about abdominals and we will talk about metabolism. So these four things which are very important and how do you fix these and how will these contribute to you having a slim waist. Okay, so let's talk about cortisol first or stress levels. The more stressed you are, especially for men in their mid 40s, mid 50s, you are more likely to accumulate body fat in your stomach. And not just this kind of um, below the skin, so we call it sub subcutaneous fat no we're also talking about visceral fat so under the wall of abs that you have built for yourself over the year so under the abdominal muscles here is another layer of fat which is called visceral fat so internal fat fat around the organs and the more visceral fat you have the more endangered your organs are and the more stress hormone cortisol you produce the more likely you are to accumulate this type of fat. So you definitely want to avoid junk food as much as you can, so processed food, because they also contribute to raising your stress levels and you accumulating more visceral fat. You want to avoid any kind of processed sugars because those type of sugars are more likely to be processed as visceral fat later on or be built into your visceral fat storages, right? The same goes for the hop in beer because hop, not only decreases your testosterone levels, it increases your estrogen and you keep accumulating visceral fat mass, okay? And another thing that affects your cortisol is your bedtime. So when do you go to bed? Do you go to bed at the same time every single day? And is that time before 10 p.m. or after 10 p.m. or before the sun sets completely or after that? So the later you go to bed, the more likely you are to have high cortisol levels. Why? Because our ancestors used to be hunter-gatherers and if the hunt during the day was unsuccessful, our bodies started producing another big wave of cortisol during the night, preparing for the next hunt. Because we stay hungry. If you stay hungry, you will produce a lot of cortisol. And if you go, don't go to sleep with the sun, or don't lay with the sun, right? Then you will produce more and more cortisol. Do I expect you to lay with the sun? No, but I do expect you to be mindful of your stress hormone, your cortisol levels. So implement a pre-bed routine no matter when you go to bed, but try to go to bed as early as possible or at least within the same 30 minute time frame every single day and be consistent with this on the weekends too, right? So do whatever you can within your power um, even before taking any kind of supplements to decrease your stress hormone, your cortisol levels. The best thing you can do is just move to a tax paradise where it's always warm and sunny, people are less stressed, right? Because the less cortisol you have in your life, the less stressful lifestyle you're living, the less belly fat you will accumulate, right? The easier it will be for you 
to lose fat. But now that we talked about cortisol, let's talk about gut health. Because sometimes the reason why your belly is sticking out is not actually the visceral fat or the amount of visceral fat that you have or the amount of subcutaneous fat that you have, but actually your poor gut health and you are constantly bloated, you're building up gas. And I think gut health is a very complex topic, but there are certain foods, certain probiotics that I can definitely recommend for you and you will already feel massive improvements. One of them is kefir. I really like drinking kefir either next to like a breakfast lunch or brunch, right? Like an early lunch or during the evening, like two or three hours before bed. It helps a lot with efficient digestion, restoring the microbiome, microbacteria of your guts. So definitely it's helpful. The same goes for sauerkraut, so sour cabbage, any kind of fermented food, um, pickled cucumbers, kimchi, uh, any pickled goods basically, and sourdough bread, that helps a lot too. These are my go-to gut health foods and i also like blueberries because they help you reduce any kind of internal inflammations that might cause you bloating so if you just include two or three of these foods every day in your diet and to be honest these do not really contain any kind of extra energy intake right so you can eat them guilt-free so you shouldn't be worried about them right so just include a couple of these foods and your gut health will be better your gut microbiome will reset itself uh, you can prevent and cure a lot of inf inflammations in this way so just keep consistent with these include this food in, in your diet and you can make sure that okay the bloating will lessen you will build up less gas or not at all and your goal with this is okay again shrink your waist size all right next one metabolism this is where most people start complaining this is where most people say that okay this is genetic my metabolism sucks i've never been good at this uh, i've always had a slow metabolism i was always the fat kid and so on and so on and so on but they do not realize that uh, it's not their metabolism that sucks but the habits that they have taken up during their lifetime so far and kind of like the lifestyle choices that, that messed up right so the inconsistent eating schedules um eating a lot of junk food inconsistent sleep uh, accumulating more and more body fat and the more body fat you accumulate the more body fat you will be likely to accumulate right because it increases your estrogen levels estrogen attracts body fat and the more body fat you attract the more estrogen you will produce so you know this is kind of a vicious cycle at this point so you got to the point where you are more than 25 percent body fat and you wonder why it is more difficult for you to lose fat at all because your metabolism is temporarily messed up and once you own it up so it's a mindset question once you own it up that it is all your fault and you're guilty for that then you stop being guilty for that on that day because you owned it up you just admitted it was your sin it was your fault basically but now you have taken the first step to to make this wrongdoing good right to to turn this all around to make a 180 in your life and to fix your metabolism so anyone can do these very simple steps just a little bit increased caffeine intake green tea black coffee every one to two hours before 3 to 4 p.m um, everyone can drink a little bit more water usually I would recommend like one liter for every 20 kilograms or every 45 pounds of your body weight everyone can eat more protein which is metabolically the most active macronutrient four times more efficient and six times more efficient than carbs and fats and move more so have very high dmts no i'm not talking about drugs i'm talking about daily movement targets at least six to eight k steps per day but it could be like a 500 meter swim it could be a three mile walk it could be um let's say 200 frisbee throws for your dog whatever you pick just stay consistent with it even in your busiest period if you can stick to it for a long time probably there's going to be a sustainable habit so you can be proud of yourself and you have just increased your metabolism of course the more 
resistance training you're doing, the more, uh, the higher your daily movement targets are, and the more tricks you apply. So, for example, you're chewing on ginger, you are eating spicy food because the capsaicin that also increases your metabolism, you are eating green tea, or sir, you're drinking green tea, you're drinking black coffee and so on and so on you're eating high protein so if you do everything in order to be able to burn more calories at rest you can be more flexible with your food and still lose fat and still shrink your waist right and it's also very important that the more metabolically active your body is the more you can get away with and the more muscle you're building the easier it is to maintain low body fat levels. So that's why I'm saying, even if you are a decent shaped person with a little belly, always go for pushing your muscle mass up a bit. You won't be a bodybuilder. You won't look like a balloon. You won't look like a fucking barbarian because I've been training for 10 years and I still don't look like that, right? So there's no fucking chance you're gonna be too big. So that's the, that's the thing. You have to remember that you can't get too big just by eating more protein and lifting weights with a progressive overload. So every week you are just slightly increasing your total weekly workload. It doesn't work like that. It takes multiple years, even decades, to get an so-called elite physique naturally. So without the assistance of any kind of PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. So if you do this game, you're in this game naturally, you can be happy if you get like a lean and athletic physique, like a a nice looking athlete who is energetic and feels good about yourself. So if you start from zero, that's the maximum you can get to within six months. But it's great. Most people would be perfectly off, perfectly well off with, you know, just one wing on your bicep, a decent shaped shoulders, you know, kind of wide back and six back abs. And you would be set for life because then you have already had the habits, the systems and everything in place to maintain your progress for a lifetime. You don't have to be like super shredded or huge. That's a misconception. That doesn't mean healthy. Healthy means that you feel good in your body, you have relatively low body fat, but still high enough to be functional hormonally, and you can perform with your brain at your absolute best, right? This is what healthy means, and this is what um, also overweight people and also like fitness obsessed people get wrong simultaneously so find a balance balance is your most important asset especially if you're an entrepreneur a high performer or a corporate executive who has a lot of stress on his shoulders of course you want to find balance in your life so why would you be a gym rat right okay but returning to the original topic we've been talking about metabolism so this way you can easily boost your metabolism you can get away with more and if you increase your muscle mass you will burn more calories per hour at rest because muscle mass is expensive to maintain for your body so even when you are just sitting on a chair like i'm doing it right now you will be burning more calories than someone who has less muscle mass than you and is moving at the moment walking to the store or whatever right okay so finally let's talk about your abdominals what you can do because if you're training your abs a lot and you're training them hard and heavy and they are just growing 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 well that means that doesn't necessarily mean that you will have a slimmer waist right because you have just built up a lot of abs and abs and abs and abs a lot of meat in your stomach in your midsection area you have a super strong core which is by the way functional it helps you establish a solid posture and stuff like that but still you don't have that kind of you know aesthetic slim look that you're looking for like you were when you were like 20 25 years old i get that but how can you get there there's a trick called stomach wakens so it's it's really fun we like to do it with, with our clients and this is how we make sure that we add some extra stimulation to make their waist tighter right it has been proven that it works over the long term. We also tried it uh, with their before after measurements. And yes, it works. Their waist has shrunk, not just because of the fat loss, but because of doing these so-called stomach vacuums or stomach wakens. I don't know how the hell you pronounce it, but what really matters is that you are exhaling every air in your stomach, preferably in the morning, fasted so before eating or drinking anything and then you stuck your stomach in once you have exhaled everything 
you hold that for 10 to 15 seconds and then you breathe in again and then you repeat it for three times basically and this has been proven to decrease your waist size so you can get slimmer at any possible age so for example let me show you my client uh, who just recently got started with this habit he is CFO angel investor in Dubai and he just got started like nine weeks ago and he just recently started doing the stomach wakens so wait let me let me find that picture to you guys okay so he already appears twice as wide as he used to be with a slimmer waist why because he started doing this wakens so you exhale I've just eaten so for me it's gonna be a little bit more difficult you seen that you suck it in and then you inhale again okay this might look funny you might feel like okay your organs are being compressed but over the long term it definitely works and um, yeah this is it for today guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you found this useful and hope you will find it also easy to implement these habits in your lifestyle because you are 40 41 42 43 and so on and so on years old only once in your life and you know time never goes backwards it only goes forward and i don't want to sound like a scarecrow or anything like that i don't want to be a fear monger but you know that you've got only one of your health right there are no multiple lives like for cats and uh, the more and more you delay the more and more you procrastinate getting this fixed the more painful it will become and one day you will run out of days your day will come your final hour and you will regret not taking care of your health more right because you want your kids your grandkids to be set up for life you want to provide for them and you also want to give you give them your presence right you being present at the most important moments of their life and you being present as a dad or as a granddad who can help them out either financially or physically or emotionally but you want to be present in the brain the body and the soul as well so uh, if this is your goal and you feel like okay you slacked off in the past years and decades and you don't really know how to get started or you know a lot of information but you never really been a consistent dude you need some extra accountability and you need a surefire system that has have helped men of your age dozens of times over and over and over again then check out the description click on the link below book a free call with us and we will come up with a game plan for you on how we could help you get in the leanest and most energetic shape of your life permanently so you can sustain these habits and the results for a lifetime and if you enjoyed this video feel free to check out another link in the description below join our free community where i share daily tips on how to lose fat sustainably how to optimize your sleep and energy levels and everything in between and if you like this video like follow subscribe whatever share this with your peers your colleagues your friends and if you have any questions or comments that you would add feel free to do that in the comment section below i like talking to you guys i like receiving suggestions from you so let's keep it up see you next one